Breathe out through your nose. Dawn Marie Zavano is an artist. I'm usually stuck in the corner doing the black light makeup. She's not your typical artist. We do haunt makeup for a haunt out in Stoughton called Screaming Acres. As part of Team Scream, Dawn Marie transforms faces into freaks. It's crazy busy. Along with ghoulish zombies and creepy clowns. It wasn't a big jump for me. After having done kids face painting for a while, it seemed like a natural progression. A progression that sent her brushes down past the neckline. If faces were fun, imagine if you went even farther. I was wanting a bigger canvas. Bigger is better when your art is only skin deep. A lot of times I will draw them out. This is going to be a lot of swirls and curls and whatnots. I'm winging it. It's a totally different feel painting on a human than it is on canvas. Dawn Marie's human masterpieces can be mind-bending. The only limitations are her imagination. The blue and white china patterns that you see, I also was inspired by a little bit of the Norwegian rose modeling. I kind of tried to combine those two inspirations into one today. Eh, stuck my finger in it. Originally, I grew up in a little town called Loganville, Wisconsin. When I say little, I mean little. Dawn Marie took art classes in school, but when it comes to her body of work, she forged her own path. I'm completely self-taught. The first ones I did were just the backs of two of my nieces. Edward Munch's The Scream on one, and then I did Starry Night by Van Gogh on another one. Not every response, but the majority of the responses I got about body art was, you touch the private, no, my paintbrushes paint that stuff. I don't touch that. <laughs> don't think of it as this taboo thing that you're seeing. Keep an open mind and look at the body as the beautiful canvas that it is. Everybody's got everything that you're seeing in body painting just in different proportions. But as far as myself feeling awkward about it, no, not anymore. I want people to realize that body painting is an art. It's not just a passing fad. It's been around for thousands of years in different cultures around the world. It's an ancient art form Dawn Marie highlighted in an exhibition called Extinction. I wanted to mimic the tribal style of the Jingu Indians from the Amazon. And the idea behind that series was we're all one tribe and if we don't start treating each other as one, we're heading towards extinction. We used all body types, all ages, all sizes. We had a woman who was an uh, amputee from just below the knee down and they are beautiful pieces. And that series had so much meaning that I, that's probably one of my proudest sets. Proud is one thing, but the process can be grueling for both artist and model. I've done body paints that have taken up to nine hours. It's the thing with me, I'll just keep painting and painting and painting. <laughs> they get tired, they move. <laughs> That's probably the biggest challenge, is knowing that you have to remember that this is a living canvas. Can you just stretch for a second? Okay. Shoulders square to wall. Seeing it in person is always so much better because you see the fluid movement of the body. You see it morph with every move the model makes, so every angle is a different picture. Watch me go. Dawn Marie would appear on the reality competition show Skin Wars. With my piece, I have made a surreal chessboard that goes 360 around the body. It started out with 12 of us, and then the very first episode, someone gets eliminated. Her brush with stardom could be worth $100,000. I've got this. This is my challenge. Stressful, <laughs> very stressful. It was a lot of fun. I made it through the first episode, the second episode, with a few scares, the third episode, the fourth episode, the fifth episode. The contestant, known as the Glitter Queen, survived until episode six. It was an amazing experience. And a transforming experience for Dawn Marie. I look back and go, wow, everything I did in my life has led me to this point. 
never thought this would be an occupation. I didn't even know the occupation existed, to be honest. <laughs> I found the beauty in it, and I just absolutely love it.